हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज सिंपल इंटरेस्ट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज 26 व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इन आवर नो न्यू डाइजेस्ट ऑन पेज नंबर 295 सो देयर आर द सम सॉल्व एग्जांपल्स सो टोटल थ्री एग्जांपल्स सो वी विल मेक द ओवरव्यू फॉर दिस वन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 इज देयर व्हाट इज द इंटरेस्ट ऑन 5000 रुपीस एट 12 PCPA for 200. So as we know in a lecture also we have seen there is a simple interest means I or we can say yes I also. There is a formula P means principal value multiplied by with the rate of the interest or we can say the PCPA means per cent per annum. Okay, so that is a denotation as a capital R multiplied by with the n capital means that is a year or we can say the period. Okay, but that is in a in the period not in a months. so with a division with 100 so this is a formula okay so in this one 5000 means p is there so principal value 5000 multiply by with uh, rate is there 12 pcpa so 12 multiply by with 2 means year so divided by with a 100 so 5000 is here and 20 got 20 get cancel now 50 multiply by 12 multiply by 2 or we can say 50 multiply by 2 is 100 100 multiply by 12 means 1200 so this is a i i means simple interest and this is given in option number 4 then question number 2 the interest on 1500 for a period of 3 year is rupees 360 okay so this interest is given principal value of the 1500 with a period n is there with a 3 year okay so what is the rate of the interest means r we have to find out now in this one This two zero get cancel. This two zero get cancel. So three sixty divided with fifteen multiply by with three is equals to R. Means this fifteen and this three we are take out in another side. Okay. So here multiplication. So another side it will get the division. So three ones are and here the three twelve and zero. So fifteen ones are and here the eighteen eight. So R is equals to eight. Means eight. percentage pcpa is always be in percentage so 8% means option number 2 is a correct one then question number 3 in how many year will the interest on so here on rupees 100 become 125 at the rate of 12.5 pcpa so 125 means that is the interest is given on a principal value of the 100 rupees multiply by with the 12.5 is the rate of the interest multiplied by this period means n is we have to calculate so divided by with the this 100 so this 100 got cancel give this 100 get cancel so 125 divided by 12.5 is equals to n okay so this 125 and divided by 12.5 if you see the decimals so means this is a 10 times of this one okay so this ones are and this is a 10s are okay so n is equals to 10. This is a in always be in years. Okay, so 10 year is given in option number three. So option number three is the correct one. Now, exercise on page number 295. So there is a question number one. How much is the simple interest on rupees 600 for two year at the rate of 8 PCPA? Means 8 percent is there. So as I is equals to P. R n or we can say p multiplied by r multiplied by n is equals to divided by hundred. So is equals to now I we have to find out then p is we have given principal value six hundred multiplied by with this one rate of the interest is eight and multiplied by with n means period is a two years. Okay, divided by this hundred. So this two get can zero get cancel. This two zero get cancel. So six multiplied by eight multiplied by So that is a ninety six, and this ninety six is given in option number four. Then question number two, Rutuja gave Prana rupees two thousand five hundred on a simple interest for six months at the rate of eight percent per annum. How much interest will Prana pay to Rutuja for six months? So for this one, if you see the principal amount is given. 2500 okay multiply by with a there is a principal amount 2500 and then rate of the interest is a 8 multiply by with this one there is a 6 months so 6 divided by 12 so that will be always be in year so and division with a 100 so 
this two zero get cancelled this two zero get cancelled so here four twos are eight and four threes are twelve and three ones are and here three twos are so here four multiplied by twenty five so that is a hundred okay so hundred is given in option number one then question number three Rahul gave rupees fifteen thousand to Santosh for three year. Santosh gave him rupees four thousand five hundred as a interest. What is the rate of the interest? So, I is given, which is a four thousand five hundred. Then is equal to principal amount fifteen thousand, and then multiply by with the rate of the interest has to calculate so that R is keep it as it is. Then multiply by with three year. Okay, so. And then division with a hundred. So this two zero get cancelled. This two zero get cancelled. So now four thousand five hundred divided by this one fifty multiplied by with three is equals to R. This zero get cancelled. This zero get cancelled. So fifteen ones are and fifteen threes are forty five and this zero as it is. Then three ones are and three tens are thirty. So R is equals to ten years. Okay. So ten years means option number one is the correct one. Then question number four. What will be the rate of interest if five thousand rupees fetch of rupees thirteen hundred and fifty as a simple interest? So thirteen hundred and fifty in is a fifty is a interest and principal amount is a five thousand. So then simple interest after the three years. So rate of the interest is not given that we have to find out. So n is a Three years, so this n we can replace with a three year and divided with a hundred. So this two zero get cancelled. This two zero get cancelled. So thirteen hundred and fifty divided by this fifty multiplied by with this three is equals to r. Then this zero get cancelled. This zero get cancelled. So now three ones are and three fours are and then three fives are then five ones are and five nines are forty five. So r is equals to nine. PCPA or we can say percentage. So this is given in option number three. Then question number five: In how many year will the interest on rupees two thousand five hundred will be thirteen hundred and fifty? Okay. So here year we have to find out at the rate nine PCPA. So here the two five zero zero is principal amount multiplied by with rate of the interest is nine percent multiplied by with the N. Okay, so that year we have to find out divided by this hundred. Uh, okay, so this two zero get cancelled. This two zero get cancelled. So thirteen hundred and fifty divided this twenty five and multiply by with nine. So this nine is equals to n is a year. So year twenty five ones are okay. So here twenty five five are ten balance and then zero hundred. So twenty five four are. Then nine ones are and nine six are so n is equals to six years. Okay, so six years is given in option number one. If you observe first means question number four and question number five, so there is only uh, difference between the principal amount. Okay, so here the rate is nine percent comes. Okay, and here the interest is the same. So in this one, if this amount principal amount is getting half, but for the same year. So same interest. So number of the year is getting double. Okay, make the comparison here also. So just this is for the information purpose. Now question number six is there. The principal at the certain rate of the interest double in five years by the simple interest. In how many years the same principal with the same rate of the interest become five times? So this is very important question. So we will separately find out. So principal amount get double. Okay, means we can say that is a S I or we can say simple interest plus principal amount. Then we can say this is whatever the total amount comes. That is a double with this one. Means this simple interest also equals to the principal amount. Okay, so we can say principal amount is equals to this P R P R and N divided by this hundred. Okay, now in this one, this P is equals to Same as when this one means principal amount. Then only we can say this is a double, okay? Because this is addition of the this principal. Then the final amount comes. Now in this one, R is the same. A certain rate of the interest is mentioned, and N is given the five years. So N will replace with the five. So in this case, P and P here. So that is a one, or we can say hundred multiplied by here with the P. That is a hundred is equals to P 
and p get cancel here and then with a 1 multiply by with this 100 here 100 comes then this r multiply by with this 5 now 100 divided by this 5 is equals to r so 5 1 the 5 2 the and 0 so r is equals to 20 percentage so with a 20 percent of the rate in a five years so this uh, rate of the interest will comes equal to the principal amount means we can say the principal amount get double now with the same this uh, principal with the same rate of the interest means this 20 percent how many years the same principal with the same rate of the interest will become the five times so five times means that we can say 4p plus we can say the i okay so i also we can replace with a p so means this is the principal amount then only we can get the 5p means in this case we can say this is a five times of the principal amount okay so 4p is equals to p is the same amount principal amount multiplied with, with this 20 as the same rate of the interest multiplied by the n we have to find out now divided by with this 100 so this p get cancelled both the set principal amount there then 4 multiplied by this 100 divided with this 20 is equals to n so this two uh, 21 and 25 so n is equals to 4 multiplied by 5 is a 20 so that is a 20 years so in a 20 years we can say this interest and the principal amount addition of this one the returns will the comes five times of this one okay so that is a 20 years and this is given in option number three now question number uh, seven swara deposited rupees twenty thousand in a bank at the rate of the seven pcpa how much interest will she receive after five years so twenty thousand as a principal amount multiply by with the seven pcpa means rate of the interest multiply with the year means n is a five year. so with the division of the hundred so this two zero this two zero get cancel now two hundred multiply by with the seven multiply by this 5 so 5 7 is a 30 by 35 multiplied by 2 is a 70 so that is a 70 here and this 2 0 as it is so this is a 7000 and this is given in option number 2 then question number 8 Vishi took a loan of rupees 10,000 on a simple interest if he return 12,700 after 3 years find the rate of the interest now here the mention he return so means return means of course return of the any loan or uh, what were the borrowing of the money we are returning with interest okay i plus p okay so that is equals to the 12700 year given means we can say in this one the p already we know which is the 10000 so i plus 10000 is equals to 12700 so this i is equals to 12700 minus 10000 so means rate of the interest is 2700 now on this basis we have to find out the rate of the interest so this 2700 we know this is the interest is equals to principal amount is we know this 10000 mm -hmm. multiply by with this one rate of the interest means r we don't know so that we have to find out multiply by with n means three years is given so divided with a hundred so this two zero get cancelled this two zero get cancelled so 2700 divided with 100 multiply by with three is equals to r so this two zero get cancelled this two zero get cancelled so three ones are and three nines are 20 so, so r is equals to nine years so in a nine years means option number three is a correct one for question number eight then question number nine what amount should Srikant deposited in amount to receive 2000 interest for two years? So, means interest 2000 is equals to P, we have to find out, multiply by with two years with a rate of the interest 8 PCPS. So, 8 multiply by with a 2 divided this 100. So, 2000 multiply by with 100 divided by 8 multiply by 2. So, is equals to P. Now, Two ones are and here the fifty and then eight ones are eight twos are sixteen. So here that four balance so forty eight fives are and then zero. So twenty five fives are twenty five fives are is a one hundred and twenty five and then one and two zero. 
so means we can say principal amount is a uh, twelve thousand five hundred and this is given in option number one now question number 10 a simple interest on some principal for three year at 12 pcpa is rupees 5400 what is the principal so principal amount again we have to same find out the so this is 5400 is equals to p we have to find out so multiply by with the there is a rate of the interest is a 12 multiply by with the 3 is a period means year divided with this 100 so 5400 multiplied by with this 100 divided with 12 multiplied by 3 is equals to here p so 3 ones are and here 1800 then this uh, 6 and here the 50 again this 25 and this 3 3 ones are and then this 600 so 600 multiplied by this 25 so 25 6 this is 150 and then this 20 means 15,000 so principal amount should be 15,000 and this is given in option number 4 so for the question number 10 option number 4 is the correct one then question number 11 at the rate of 8 PCPA what will be the interest for 3 years on principal of the 5 100 rupees so principal 500 rupees multiply by with this uh, rate is the 8 pcpa multiply by the period is mean given 3 years so divided with this 100 so this 20 get cancelled this 20 get cancelled so 5 multiply by this 8 multiply by 3 so this is equals to the 120 so this 120 is given in option number 2 then question number 12 rohit receive a, an interest rupees 2520 at the rate of 7 PCP after 3 years find out the principal for which he received the in, uh, this interest so principal amount we have to find out here and rate of the interest is given which is a 2520 is equals to P multiply by the year the 7 is a rate of interest multiply by the year is a 3 years so with the division of this 100 so 2520 multiply by with this 100 divided by 7 multiplied by 3 is equals to principal amount now here 3 ones are and here 3 eights are 24 1 balance 3 fours are 12 and this 0 as it is so 7 ones are and 7 twelves are 84 and this, then this 0 as it is so 100 multiplied by this 120 so 120 and then this 20 so this is a 12,000 is a principal amount so this is given in option number 4 then question number 13 rahul landed the rupees 15000 to subash for 3 years at the same rate if subash gave rahul an interest of the 4500 then what was the rate of the interest in pcpa okay so rate of the uh, this interest is given 4500 is the amount so is equals to principal amount is there 15000 multiply by the there is a rate we have to find out so r as it is multiply with there is a period is given means the three years so multiply by the three divided with 100 so this 20 get cancelled this 20 get cancelled so 4500 divided with 150 multiply by with 3 is equals to r so this 0 get cancelled 0 get cancelled this 15 3 za and then 3 1 za and then this is a 10 so r is equals to 10 percentage so 10 percentage is given in option number 1 so for question number 13 option 1 option number 1 is a correct one thank you